Howdy, y'all. Howdy, Ricky. Um, I hope y'all are doing good. Ooh, there's a little Porsche, and it's got a little teenage girl driving it. Oh, my goodness, honey. You just ran a red light. Whoop. Not that I have never done that. have but what I was gonna tell y'all is I have been these rocks have just I can't even explain it y'all it's so bizarre it's like I dig through my rocks and I and I'll start you know uh, pulling uh, rocks because they're really smooth. I just love that. I've got some that are like slippery. You can hardly pick them up. Rocks that are the same color. Rocks that are the same size. Um, just, you know, all kinds of stupid stuff. And yesterday, I went outside and my intention was to continue to trim back my ground cover. I mean, it has grown all the way in under my bushes, and, and, and that, that's just not good. It needs to stay trimmed up. So, that's what I intended to do yesterday. It was a beautiful day, windy, kind of cold. But that's okay. As long as I'm moving around, I can handle it. I just wear a jacket. But I don't know what I did. I don't know exactly how it happened. But the next thing you know, I am screwing around with some rocks. Oh, I know how it happened. I went out to feed Lily's birds. I forgot to get bird food. Oh well, I'll tell Jerry he'll get some. Um, I went out to feed Lily's birds. And of course, you know that front front yard is all rocks. And I got something so cute to show y'all. So when I put my milk and my apple pie away, then I'll come out and I'll make uh, that little video. But, um, finally, after, I don't know y'all, two hours or more, I finally, oh, when I was in the front front yard, which is all rock, I happened to look down and oh my gosh, there was a green rock, which is one of the colors that I am collecting, I guess you would say. So I picked it up and then there was a uh, gold colored, yellowish gold. Well, anyway, suffice it to say, I was in uh, Rock La La Land. One of y'all can call the guys of White Coats if you want to. But just tell them that the only way I'll go is if I take Lily with me. Because I couldn't, I, I could not do that. But, um, so finally I got around to trimming. I started trimming a little bit. And then I was trimming a lot. Then, I went over on the other side of the fence. This is one of the reasons why, y'all, that sometimes I really feel like my little cottage is too much for me. I mean, too much for me to keep it up I I don't I never trust these people and their blinkers 
because it would only take one time for me to pull out somebody to bash me. And I just don't have time for that. But, um, I, I should have thought about this, but I didn't. And now it's way too late. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. But, um, it's, it's not that I can't live there and I can't do my dishes at least, you know, once a week or whatever. Um, it's that it's a lot to keep the cottage clean, keep my laundry done up, make a grocery order, go pick it up, put it away, drag it back out, eat it, do more dishes, take care of the yard, take care of Lily. She's no trouble, but she does get mad at me, boy, if I don't let her out in the morning. This morning, she was smacking me on the head. I'm like, Lily, what are you doing? And she's standing on the bed next to my head and meowing so loud in my deaf ears. And I knew exactly what she wanted. She wanted to go outside. Anyway, I don't let her out without me anymore. She's been catching these giant, I mean giant, grasshoppers that girl I'm telling you I do need to find a shack out in the woods somewhere so she'll be really happy but <clears throat> it's just hard y'all because I have gotten to be so lazy now when I first moved into the cottage I remember uh Carol, my little neighbor that lives down across from Jerry. Jerry had only been over to the house a couple of times, I guess. It was after we had first met and everything. And Carol said, Jerry said, going in your house is kind of weird. And I said, kind of weird? Why is that? She said, well, he says it's like nobody lives there. It's sterile. You're afraid to touch anything. Well, it wasn't sterile or even close to it, y'all. But I kept my little cottage in good shape. And now I'm just lazy as a dog. I just make messes everywhere. I try not to. And then there's the whole thing, the whole being upset with yourself because you're not doing it like you should, like you want to. And there's the guilt thing, like you're not taking as good a care of it. And I don't know, y'all. I'm tripping. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I gotta tell you, I can't tell you. I, I would tell you, but whoa. Oh my word, my sweet neighbor has gone out there and she has cut those trees down to nothing. Well, I gotta go in and I can't show you her yard because it'll ruin something else. So anyway, have some fun, make yourself happy. And I should see you again today. Bye now.